Hey, what's going on everybody? Adrian Diaz here with Hasta La Vista Boss. In today's video, we're going to talk about how to use Ahrefs for keyword research. Stay tuned. Hey bosses, Adrian here. In this video, as I was saying, I want to share with you how I personally use Ahrefs for keyword research. Um, and this is uh, this video is actually uh, in response to uh, my friend Efrain Avelar here. Thanks for uh, watching uh, my videos, uh, buddy. Thanks for uh, you know give me a thumbs up for uh, asking questions as well. And Efrain is asking here uh, if I can do a video using Ahrefs keyword tool. Of course, I, I needed to know a little bit more because you can do a lot of things with Ahrefs. And uh, he's uh, saying that he wants to know how to choose the right keywords, search volume for content creation using Ahrefs. Um, although I said this is great, uh, uh, now that I'm reading it again, I'm not 100% sure if what you want to know, Efrain, is uh, to know how, like what v search volume is correct, like or good, or I'm not 100% sure, but uh, I can't answer you that questions just because I don't completely understand it. But I will share with you how I personally use Ahrefs to kind of find um, um, low-hanging fruits, you know, so, uh, keywords with um, decent or good search volume, uh, but it has zero or no uh, or very little competition. And um, again, if... I'm just doing this video because you asked me, Efrain, and uh, for whoever else is interested to to know how how to use uh, Ahrefs for keyword research, um, I do it the lazy way nowadays. <laughs> you know, I used to uh, have a, a keyword in my mind. I would come here, put it in in Keyword Explorer, and see what comes up. There are ways when I do it that that way, but most of the time nowadays. If I do some keyword research, so let's say I'm doing uh, this uh, best, uh, whatever it is, and uh, and uh, let's say one of the websites that comes up on the um, on the SERPs is uh, the Wirecutter. The Wirecutter. I'll never be able to compete with these guys, but nevertheless, uh, they let's say they come up for one of the keywords that I want to rank for. Uh, and I want to check out how how competitive that keyword is or I simply want uh, to know what other keywords these guys are ranking for that I could you know go for you can do the, you can put the wire cutter you can put Amazon you can put other websites you know uh, this is just one that came to my mind now so what I do as you can see, they almost rank for uh, they rank for almost three million keywords. So what I'll, the first thing I do, I come here and put uh, keyword difficulty to zero, uh, and I just want to poke around a little bit around the site to see what keywords uh, are coming up. Um, if there's something that's in, it's interesting to me, like uh, in the sense that I would like to do to write about. Uh, that type of product or not um, that's that's the first thing I look at and as you can see here some some of these keywords they have like 4,000 uh, uh, monthly ser searches with zero uh, keyword difficulty um, that's not always accurate and uh, you know uh, in theory right it's zero difficulty but Keyword uh, difficulty estimates how hard it will be to rank in top 10 organic search results for a given keyword in a given country. Um, it tells you how it's calculated and the, resu the result is then plotted on a logarithmic scale from 0 to 100. 
uh, right? So, you know, in theory, you have zero competition because let's say here, best ratchet, best ratcheting screwdriver, you'll go here and click SERP and you'll, you'll have to come and check if this is true, like if this, uh, um, if this uh, keyword difficulty is, is, is true or not by looking at how, how many backlinks these websites they have. Um, most of most of the websites uh, they will show you the the, the real number. So you see this uh, this ratcheting screwdriver page here. It has zero backlinks. Um, uh, referring domains where are they? DR domains. Um, referring domains zero. So you you can see you have some. Uh, cool data in here that will tell you, hey, if I want to be on top 10 for this keyword, for this keyword here, all I want, uh, I could easily rank for, if I make a, a good article and depending on my uh, overall website authority, if you want, I could rank on page one straight away without any backlinks because you already have these two guys here with no backlinks and this one here, all right? Um, and then if, if you need to build some backlinks, you see, you don't have to build too many. Alrighty. So that's, that's how I do it. I mean, it's not, uh, I'm not doing anything, uh, like out of this world. Uh, when I do keyword research, there's no secret here. I believe it's just, uh, uh, keep doing it right. And then you can go to, uh, keyword difficulty up to five. That means you need. Uh, uh, roughly five links in order to uh, rank for that keyword. Um, and another thing I like to do, uh, I put this again on uh, keyword difficult difficulty zero, and I like to include in here words like best, review, versus, versus, uh, like this, and hit okay and see what comes up uh because remember we are affiliate marketers or at least that's what i'm doing now <clears throat> or if if you do keyword research for affiliate marketing these are the kind of keywords you want to go for right that's why many people will will have no success with what they think they're doing like if they think they're doing affiliate marketing but they they targeting their own keywords. These are the keywords that w you want to rank for best reviews versus uh, versus comparison. Uh, uh, how to you know to create some nice informational posts. And you still we, we we still have half a million keywords. So you can go through this and you can sort out and make some nice. You can export actually, but that's too much. Half a million. You you really have to digging even more you know like uh, maybe volume traffic uh, work count maybe you can put work count uh, four so we can go for uh, long tail uh, keywords in here and you see it's 279,000 there's still a lot um, there's still a lot but you know maybe uh, maybe uh, what else we can do here volume uh, you you can say, let's say you want to have a hundred monthly searches at least. Okay, forty thousand. There's still a lot, but you can you know you can keep uh, keep uh, digging in here, and uh, you I'm sure you're gonna find some cool stuff, and then you can export it if you want, and then you'll have a lot of uh, <laughs> loads of keywords that you can sort through and choose choose a niche or choose a keyword that you want to uh to rank for and if you want to uh create like informational content you just uh you just put here include how to uh, what else e uh, how to i i believe that this is a good keyword to start with how, how to and uh with this one you can even go a little bit higher if you want you know with the kd but this is uh this is awesome here to find some uh, great keywords and then you just can export it. 
And I believe that's that's all. Uh, please let me know, Efrain, if this was helpful or anybody, guys, that you watched this video. Um, again, we talked about how to choose, uh, how to use keyword, uh, how to use Ahrefs for keyword research. And uh, I hope this answered your question, Efrain. Please remember to subscribe, guys, if you watch this video. Give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment. And... Um, Please join on the Facebook group as well. We do some uh, live streams every now and then. And uh, it's a lot of fun because we can uh, go together on Zoom and uh, uh, hang out <laughs> and talk about business. Alrighty. Uh, see you next time. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching.